Hey everybody, um, back for another PE lesson. Now today we're gonna work on balance a little bit. And uh, I was thinking about how we could do this since the playgrounds and parks are closed. But um, what they've done is they've closed down the actual man-made playgrounds. But there's lots of things we can use around that's similar to a playground. For example, today we're gonna use these wooden barriers behind me. Now I've seen barriers similar to this at pretty much every park I've been to in Australia all over the country so we're gonna do a bit of balance on them gonna practice balancing on them maybe walking on them things like that just some things to get us moving get our balance get our mind muscle connection we talked about all these things in class kids um, but we're gonna work on these and just use what we have available to us so we're gonna adapt obviously in our current situation we can't do lessons with each other we can't do things we normally do so we're gonna adapt make sure we're still staying active still having fun and still using our bodies. Still going? Now kids, take this at your own pace. For some of you, just standing on a beam might be pretty tough. For some of you, that might be really easy. And walking on the beam might be no trouble at all. Changing directions, walking on the beam, might be no trouble at all. Now remember kids, just like we've done with the beam in the hall, if you're having trouble, put your leg and arm there as a counterbalance to balance your weight. If you're trying to walk, nice small steps. If I try and do big steps like this, it's a lot harder to catch my balance and I've lost it. If I do small steps, it's much easier to catch my balance. Third thing, Next thing, safety-wise, if you're gonna fall, just hop off. Don't commit so hard that you fall onto your side, because that's more a chance of getting hurt. Just hop off and land on your feet. As you can see, I'm going nice small steps, and I'm going at a constant rate. As soon as I have balance in my foot, I move the other foot. I'm not stepping and waiting, and then stepping and waiting. I'm going nice and constant, keeping my hands in, and I'm keeping my eyes forward on the beam or straight ahead. I'm not looking over to the camera, I'm not looking up in the sky, I'm not looking down at my feet on the beam, I'm looking forward on the beam, and where I look is where I'll go. So if I keep looking forward, my body will keep moving forward. So there's lots of different things you can do here. You can do single leg. bent as I go sideways walking. I know this one's pretty tough. Looking straight ahead, keep my balance still. We can go from one beam to the next. Not doing that one. But you get the idea, kids. Have some fun. Challenge each other to things. Okay? Enjoy yourself. Just get out, get moving, get your heart rate pumping, and get your body moving again. Good. 
So I'm here with Mrs. Lynch, and she's gonna help us by showing us some new moves we can do on the beam, and she's gonna give us a bit of a challenge. So, you might be with your brothers or sisters or cousins or somebody else, and you may have a challenge for them, try and work with each other and have some fun. Mrs. Lynch has got a challenge for me. So Mrs. Lynch, what's our challenge today? We're gonna try and bear crawl across the Now, what does bear crawl mean, Mrs. Lynch? I mean, Well, that's pretty impressive. And then you can try and go backwards. So Mrs. Lynch's challenge was to bear crawl to the end, touch it, and bear crawl backwards to the other end. Now she didn't do that successfully. She didn't make that challenge. I'm gonna have a go now and see if I can do it. I think she'll have better luck because she was barefooted and I've got my shoes on. Hurt my feet on the weekend, so I've got my shoes on. Let's see if I can do any better. I'll tell you now, I crawled in Oh no. And as always, I've landed on my feet. Stop myself from falling down onto the beam. Nice and safe. We're gonna do a one foot balancing challenge. So standing on one foot, Mr. Lynch is on the other side of the camera and we're gonna see who can last longer. He's very wobbly right now. <laughs> you oh. Unlucky kids, I fell down first, so Mrs. Lynch won that round. All right kids, so Mrs. Lynch gave me another challenge. She's challenged me to walk forward in the beam, spin around fully while I'm walking, walk to the end, turn, Walk back, spin around fully, and get to this end without falling. Sounds pretty tough. I'm not sure if I can do it. Let's see. Let me have another go. my time when I feel like I'm gonna slip. I slow down, really catch my balance again, and I've done it. Let's see if Mrs. Lynch can do it. Alright kids, so I found a beam here, much smaller in diameter, so it'll be harder to balance on, much longer and even a little bit higher. Now make sure you don't move on to something too difficult. Okay, doing a challenge on a nice low wooden wide beam like that is easy, if you fall you're going to be okay. If you fall up on a high beam like this or a small beam like this, you can pretty badly hurt yourself. So I want you to be really careful and only move on if you are able to move on. If you're one of those few students who's got really good balance, and you feel you're able to move on, but I'm gonna be really careful on these ones. If I feel like I'm falling, I'm gonna jump off to the side. Because luckily I'm tall, but if I was any shorter and I landed down on this beam, I could hurt my hips, I could hurt my bum, I could hurt myself in general. squatting down but because I hurt my foot and I've got my shoes on I don't have as much control or as much feeling of the bar. Right, gonna try and go back here let me see how we go. As you can see just like before I'm looking at the bar in front of me I'm not staring down at my feet or over at the camera. I'm looking straight in front of me, trying my best to balance. That's okay. Pretty good. 
Yeah, remember, only try that if you think you're up for it. If you're someone who's got really good balance and the wooden beams are super easy for you, feel free to move on. But if you're not someone with good balance, don't move on, okay?